one of the interesting things that I've witnessed in observing your career along, you know, most of that time is you, you've been able to stake out ground as a, you know, conscious rapper and mm -hmm. yet achieve, you know, commercial success. Um, you do, what do you think of that label conscious? Is it annoying or, or do you embrace it or, or um, how do you define yourself? You know, when, it, when I first heard that name, it was like kind of irritating because I was <laughs> like, man, I ain't just you know, conscious rapper. You can't just label me as that, you know, mm -hmm. and it puts you in a box. And then, you know, at certain points I was like, I embraced it because I thought a conscious artist, like right. conscious artists like, uh, like Bob Marley, um, you know, KRS-One, right. you know, Public Enemy or Brand Nubians and even, um, you know, even up to date to like Kendrick Lamar, I think, because conscious just mean being aware. So I started being like, okay, cool. But at the end of the day, man, it's like, I'm an artist. Like I don't label myself or limit myself. Like, because at times like through my career, I probably f I fell victim to saying, okay, I'm a conscious artist. So maybe I shouldn't rap about this. In fact, me and No ID have had conversations in the studio. He'd, he'd be like, man, quit rapping like you've been to the White House. You know, cause I haven't <laughs> been, been to the White House. Like, man, like, you know, you can say what you need to say. It's, you, you, he knows me. He know where I come from. Right. So with that being said, I think conscious sometimes can can limit if you don't really have a awareness about it. It can limit you from the way you know you you create. And I, I haven't let it limit me, so I can embrace it now. Wait, what was your reaction? Yeah, I guess it was about a decade ago now when when Jay Z said, you know, truthfully, I want to rhyme like common sense. I did five mil. I've been rhyming like common. Sense. <laughs> I mean, but you know, there are years where, I mean, at least we, we've had you at, at higher than, than five mil on the Cash Kings list. I mean, it's definitely years where, I, you know, I have made more than five million dollars. Um, and, you know, like I was, I felt it a compliment that Jay Z said he wanted to, to rhyme like me. You know, it's like, in all truth, it was like some of the guys on the streets and just listening was like, man, Jay Z said he want to rhyme like you. It was like, it brought attention to, to me for them to kind of wake up and see, like, yeah. oh man, this dude really is dope or something, you know, like, it brought awareness to, to me. So I was happy that he said it. And obviously, he made a real conscious choice because he is a very intelligent businessman to not only make good music, but to make smart business moves. So it may be him not rhyming like common sense is the reason why right. he's been as rich as he is. But everybody <laughs> got their own purpose, you know? And you know, I guess to that end, you know, you you too have diversified, maybe in ways different from Jay Z, but particularly with with the acting. Uh, yeah. You know, so so where you know where do you see yourself now? I mean, more, more rapper, more acting. What are we gonna see more of from you? I don't think I could like pinpoint like one or the other because I love them both. Right. I feel like I could be great at them both, and I'm passionate like about them both. So um, at times, you know. It's like I'm doing more acting because more, the acting is like not only inspiring me, but more acting work is coming. Mm -hmm. And then at times it's like now is a time where it's like, man, the music, I'm focused on nobody smiling. Like I'm like, yo, I'm going like I'm promotion, promotion. And I'm not going to do a film unless it's the right project. You right. know, like I'm not just going to do any film. So so I feel like I could find that balance, you know, if God is bless me to do both, then I'm, I'm gonna continue to do both and just get better at them. What are the kind of like business ventures that are at top of your mind uh, that you've got stakes in right now? Well, right, right now it's more about creating new business ideas and business models and things that, that flow around like the common brand and at the same token some things that don't have to be about common. Like we've been um, focusing on working on this, this um, brand of wine Cause I like mine, and we want to do that. Um, we also been been talking with different, you know, brands about partnerships. You know, just like that's more of that, you know, using common the advertisement. It just got to be the right partnership. Sure. But um, more than anything, man, I'm more active on the business side of just like like creating things in the communities, and, and you know, some of that obviously is business because it takes, you know, like one thing I supported Magic Johnson on was he was opening up some schools. And I, and I was thinking like, well, I need to get into that too. Like, you know, cause that's, that fits both things for me. Yeah. So that's where my business is coming from mostly. I mean, obviously the things I do as an artist, actor, and um, yeah, and you know, different investments that are, that are smart. 
Should we expect to see you on, on this year's Forbes list? Oh, yeah, you <laughs> should definitely see me on the Forbes list. Like, that, yeah, and, I, and I'm, I need to be in the top three. <laughs> 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 so, uh, you know, that means I got to put in some work. So you will see me there. Diamonds. <laughs>